Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to some more StarCraft 2. Today we're gonna be playing this week's co-op mutation mission and of course we're gonna be completing it on the brutal difficulty. Now I have yet to complete it myself, I've yet to actually even read the rules of it. However, someone did point out to me that apparently Karax is going to be a great pick so I guess we get started on him. Anyhow, let's have a quick look at the rules before we jump into it. So it's going to be called Dark Ritual. Amon has siphoned the temple's energy in order to grant his minions incredible power. Brimming with psionic potential, his supercharged armies sprint across the battlefield and channel their wrath into myriad abilities. Withstand the onslaught until the temple is secure once more. Okay, so I'm guessing that is why Karax is so very good. You're gonna have to hold on to a temple, uh, which obviously requires a lot of static defense. We're going to be playing on a temple of the past, and all the enemy units have energy and use random abilities. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of area of effect spells here, I'm assuming, like fungal growth and storm and all that. Plus, all the enemy units have double their normal movement speed. As far as my mastery points allocation goes, I decided to go with the structure life and shields, as well as the repair beam boost, as well as the initial and maximum Spear of Adun energy. It will take time to activate the temple's power and repel his assault. Your objective is to defend it until that time comes. Defend it or die. This is the only choice I shall give you. Well done. Well done, well done. So I'm grouping up right here with Sushi, who is indeed going to be playing um, Zagara. Obviously, Zagara will specialize in getting a lot of low HP minions out there, so I wonder how that's gonna fare against the early game uh, plays that they will make, obviously, with all the storms and whatnot. I guess I guess the Zerklings and whatnot, once they, once they get a bunch of upgrades going, can still live quite easily, and obviously... You will be getting free Bane Links. Either way, though, I'm going to be focusing my efforts on getting as much static defense out in the early stage of the game as I possibly can. Now, obviously, I do need to make sure that I secure my expansion. Um, in case you are unfamiliar, a lot of the buildings I make are going to be put down instantaneously, such as, for example, that pylon. And because I got a mastery, you know, point spent here, I can also go ahead and use my orbital strike here right from the get-go to get the expansion started even faster than you normally can. Another unit I can, or another, you know, building, I guess, that I can put down instantly is going to be the cannon. Um, now, ideally, I want to build it somewhere so it still is going to help out as well once the aggression starts happening. And uh, I don't really need to help him out. He'll be okay. Obviously, I want to make sure that I get as many workers out here as possible early on. And actually, I'm going to leave that probe over there as I will be using my, um, my orbital strike to nuke down this thing as well, which is one of the Spear of Adun abilities. Now, we have to make sure that we don't waste it. Like, if I waste it, obviously, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be very helpful. But just like that, I'm gonna try and secure a very big economy. And obviously, the economy will help out a ton. Now, the first aggression will be right here at the bottom. I will be able to spot that seeing, or I will see that coming in early enough. But after that, it can be coming from pretty much any kind of angle. So, I gotta make sure that I get some, um, you know, some gas going right now as well to set up our defenses. An enemy force is oh, there we go. To our position. Let's see. Let's hope it's not Zerk. Let's hope it's not Zerk. Oh, it's not Zerk. Good. And as you can see, obviously, I'm going to be able to boost these things down very, very easily. But uh, generally speaking, um, I'm going to try and get my upgrades out here as early as I possibly can. I can get a bunch of them in the forge. They're very, very, very good, as you may already be aware. And, well, did he not die? No, I'm going to have to use... I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna get a second one here either. He's gonna regenerate his shields. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait a little bit. I'll kill him in just a second. But for the moment, we should be okay with this. Now, obviously, early game, I'm gonna focus right here on getting as many workers out as possible so I can use those uh, to get a huge economy. The economy is really where it's at, right? If you get more income, that means you can get more stuff done. On top of that, I will be upgrading the Spear of Adun as often as I possibly can. Now, first and foremost, Chrono Wave is gonna be in about 20. Five seconds, so Chrono Wave in 20. I'll make sure to let him know that that is going to be the case. So he is aware of the fact that I'm going to be boosting out a whole bunch of workers very, very shortly, and he can use that to our to his advantage as well, because that is going to really. Oh crap! There's a lot more there. Oh, they are super fast. I didn't see that yet. Anyway, Chrono Boost time. So we're gonna get a lot of economy here, right from the get go. Actually, I'm gonna also start researching. We'll go with that one, the attack speed here. My god, that's a whole lot of stuff, but like I said, the banelings are free, right? So you can use those very quickly. And that is my economy pretty much already, uh, you know, done. Very, very helpful. Obviously, that's gonna boost our efficiency up significantly. And I also want to be getting the solar efficiency here next. Now, ideally, obviously, you line it up with the Chrono Wave 
Uh, didn't really do it as perfectly as I could there, but... <laughs> Sagara's like, oh, gonna take a while. Um, you know, it's gonna take a little while before we get everything perfectly set up, but... All things considered, we're looking pretty good right now. So I'm gonna start building up the static defenses right here, at the very least on one end. And obviously we're gonna put a lot of shield barriers out there as well. Hybrid detected. Marking location now. Hmm. This just became considerably more difficult. Okay. We'll be okay, dude. Don't you worry about it. Half of the temple's configurations are complete. Remain steadfast until it can activate. I gotta actually be careful that I don't, like, completely wall ourselves in. I don't know if you're planning to go for the bonus objective, but if I'm obviously, you know, walling us in completely, it may be a little bit of a, a difficult thing for my, uh, for my ally to start moving to the objective. So just to clarify, I don't plan on making any actual army here. It's not gonna be my goal. I will be getting a couple of energizers, just because energizers are super powerful. But for the most part, that's not going to be my goal. Uh, I already got one going. Okay, we'll be getting all of the upgrades here, and I'm also going to be getting... Yeah, I I'll start production of the um, I'll start production of the Energizers in a little bit. For now, I'll just make sure that I get another gateway out. It should be, you know, pretty much all we need. But you can see, like, I already have a very big economy, and I can start pushing onwards to the next place. I'll go over here and start setting up the defenses. I think we'll be alright. Something is coming in. Obviously, it moves incredibly fast. But all things considered, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna be getting a couple more upgrades. I am gonna indeed queue those up. But yeah, my ally have to uh, has to be able to move past his shenanigans as well. So he can actually kill the Void Thrashers. I just basically walled us in completely there. Might not want to do that. I gotta be careful that I don't do that over here as well. Here we go, this should work. Um, and I'll make sure to get the Energizer upgrade there, as well as the two Warp Gates moved into, um... Moved into uh, Warp Gates right now, so I can start warping those in. So the Energizers, actually, they are very expensive. The Energizers will help us, um... And I'm actually gonna get that thing back over here. But the Energizers will help us get a, uh, a whole bunch of uh, extra attack speed. Super helpful. There we go. So there's gonna be some fighting on both ends. I can indeed use my ability here. I'll use my pure fire beam. Should be pretty straightforward. As you can see though, there is a heck of a lot coming in already. Get him! Oh wow, there's actually very little. Alright, fine. As long as we get vision, I'm gonna be able to use my Spear of Adun as well. We'll actually start upgrading it here once again. <clears throat> Oh, I don't actually- <laughs> I don't actually have anything. That's- that's kind of pointless. I was hoping I was gonna have enough gas to at least get that research started, but... Okay, so, so far, so good. Gotta keep in mind, the uh, monoliths that I put down, these big buildings, also do cost energy. But, so far, it's looking pretty okay for us. Alright, that does cost gas as well, so we can't just spam those very easily, but... So far, it's looking really, really nice. We'll get a couple of them over here too, which is the main reason, by the way, why I got so much gas already. We we'll have to put down a whole bunch of shield batteries. One of you wisely pointed out, last time around that I played Carax in one of those videos, that I have a tendency to put down a lot of uh, pylons. I don't know exactly why I do that either, but this should be okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. You should be able to move past. Okay, there we go. I'll make sure to get uh, an Energizer over here shortly too. Uh, actually... Well, whatever. Should I... Can you go? Can he go? <laughs> Good teamwork here, Loco. Very well done. There you go. He's gonna be able to move past. <laughs> Very helpful. All right. Next up, we'll have to bunker up the bottom lane as well. I don't really need to put down all too much, uh, all too many pylons. Actually, I was I was doubting the choice of Sagara, but Sagara is working out brilliantly so far. Okay. 
There we go. Energizers. And we'll get some pylons here next as well. We got a ton of energy already. I gotta make sure I get as many of those upgrades here down too. Got a lot of abilities that I can indeed increase as well in efficiency. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and get the phased detonation. Is that what it's called? Yeah, phased detonation. And obviously, we'll have to get some shield batteries too. That will allow my army or my buildings rather to get replenished. Which I guess is pretty much the same. And all we need to do... All we need to do is just simply hold on to the objective. Now, there is going to be a, a push over there. I almost got my uh, my abilities here ready to go. There we go. I'm going to boost it out. Hopefully, I'm going to get that upgrade done here in time. It will be very shortly. Uh, and basically, that will increase the efficiency or effectiveness right here with my left click. Oh, with the beam. So powerful, man. You can, you can almost single-handedly stop a lot of the aggression. Now, last but not least... I'll also make sure to defend over here. They'll start they'll start dropping over here shortly too. Basically they'll start dropping with a bunch of drop pods and all that shenanigans too. So we'll have to be smart about it. May have to add on a couple more pylons over here, but all in all, this is looking really sweet so far. Just putting up as much static defense as possible. There we go. Oh, he's gonna be able to fly them in with the scourge! Oh beautiful! That was beautiful. <laughs> well, hey, that's that push dealt with. I mean, I knew that they were gonna get here at some point, but that was sweet. That was sweet. Now there may be a little bit more coming in, but man, oh man, that was that was pretty awesome. Um, we'll just put down a couple more things, I suppose, because I can. Warp in a um, couple of energizers here too. Shield batteries are so powerful. Did I get all the upgrades done yet? I guess I can get this one started. And I guess I have to get a Fleet Beacon or a Robotics Bay for that. I honestly don't think I should. I honestly don't think I should really worry about it. Um, I can get the Energizer upgrade here as well that I have messed around with a couple of times. But for the moment, I think this is looking, you know, A-OK. -okay. I can start like a, a second row of defenses. Honestly, though, I'm not really too worried about this. I mean, look at this, right? While they are managing to do quite a bunch of damage to us... We don't really... We don't really have any issues right here, right? Look at my energy count as well. Can I... Can I... No, I need vision. I need vision. I can just click. And you can see, like, the energy starts charging up so extremely rapidly. That I almost just single-handedly took down that Void Thresher, right? <laughs> I mean, this is brutal. For anyone wondering, this is the brutal difficulty. It's just that Carax is pretty powerful. Everyone's always complaining about the um, Vorazun Commander being OP, but I mean... I'm pretty sure Carax is far more powerful. While Vorazun, technically speaking, requires, you know, less planning. And you can just sort of sit back and relax and just warp in some DTs and all that. As long as you play strategic with Karax, I'm pretty sure he's like impossible to beat. Are we even gonna do the bonus? I don't know. Now, obviously, they are gonna keep on pushing. There's 7 minutes and 50 seconds ish remaining. But so far, I can't really complain. So far, I can't really worry about anything. Okay, we'll get this push going as well. Get a whole bunch of damage in. Now, I may have to replace some of the things here. As you can see, these, uh, these, uh, hybrids got stupid amounts of, air, you know, stupid amounts of HP, but... What does replace all the lost buildings? Go from there. I may have to put down some more, um... I may have to put down some more shield batteries. I'm blocking a lot of the area, by the way. That's probably not what he's looking for. Gotta use my Chrono Wave here to get some more, um... To get some more energy. And uh, potentially help out my ally here as well. Yeah, I'll have to put down some more shield batteries, probably. Oh, we are doing Zenith Stones as well? Alright, we're going for that sweet 2000 XP extra. 
Now, I got my, um, I got my ultimate ability, I suppose, right? My purifier beam here, ready to go as well, if it turns out to be necessary. And I guess, just in case, I can start tacking up towards the robotics bay as well, and get that final upgrade, uh, the solar efficiency. Very expensive, but extremely good once you do get it out. And, are we actually having any issues here? I mean, they're basically not dying, I guess, which makes it difficult for us to kill, but... I mean, we got a ton of extra damage still ready to go. I haven't actually put up all too much over here. And I guess I'll go ahead and, and put up a bunch of static defense over here as well. There we go. And now we'll just warp in a few energizers here too. As you can see, the damage is pretty ridiculous. Oh, wow. They're just warping in in the middle of our base? Okay. Yep. Yep. Turns out Carax is pretty good. Turns out Carax definitely can, uh, can carry his weight here. Okay. Looks like we're doing the bonus objective once again. I don't actually even need to do that. I don't actually really need to do that at all. We'll get the bay. Get the bay, boys! Only one of the unstable Zenith stones remains. Okay. The temple is nearly operational. Stand firm, Commander. Four minutes Five remaining. Well, we're standing firm. Don't you worry about that, Rohana. Will not break. Let them come. We are ready for them. Yeah, we are easily ready for them. I mean, we're even doing the bonus objective here. They have emerged from the void, huh? Well then. Where are they? Tell me, where are they, Rohana? I really want to get the. I really want to get the solar efficiency level three as well. Although well, apparently there's some fighting going on over here, that may make it a little tricky. I can always put up my. Uh, I can always put up my uh, my beam too, I guess. All right, fine. Move, move, quick, quick! I don't know if this is enough. I don't know if it will kill it fast enough. I don't think it will. <laughs> the idea was cute. The idea was cute at least. Alright, fine. I'm gonna have to rely on my ally finishing this bit off. If we work together, they should not be too serious of a threat. Alright. We're gonna have to do this though. We're gonna have to do this one. There we go. I guess I'll, uh, I'll guess I'll be boosting them down. Oh my god. Alright, then. Uh, do we have enough? Oh man! I don't actually know if you have enough! These, these things just spawned! And while I was toying around with my beam, this may actually cost us. Oh crap! I'm blocking off so much! Oh, that's why! I'm blocking off so much of my allies' army! Oh, Loco, you're failing. Loco, you're murdering your own friend. Okay. Okay. We're making this unnecessarily difficult. We're making this uh, more difficult than it needs to be. I wasn't aware of that fact. You can... You can go through now. Okay. I'm waiting for my... Uh, my base is to finish up. Or my forge is rather to finish up. But I guess it already is done though. I mean, we don't really need to worry very much anymore. There's only a couple of seconds remaining and the, you know, Void, uh, void Thrasher isn't really killing anything fast enough. I mean, I guess I can put down some more buildings. I can put down a couple of things, but in the end. Well done, in the end, it turns out it doesn't even matter. Alrighty, so give me that sweet bonus experience. A couple of mastery levels will never hurt, right? There we go. Sweet. Now this is this is a good example, I guess, of a I don't want to say a mutation that's necessarily easy. But I definitely wish there was a level behind Brutal. Does that make any sense? Like, 
some some of the some of the mutation missions are very hard and they are extremely difficult to complete on brutal but then there are some like the one that we have played today where i mean i was not playing efficiently whatsoever i was blocking out my ally in many situations but we quite easily managed to complete that one um you know by just simply messing around some and building static defense i didn't even have an army right um, all things considered, I, I was, you know, hoping that at some point, or I hope still, that at some point they're gonna be increasing this difficulty and maybe, like, add another level underneath it. Maybe something like they did in Diablo, where you can play on, like, you know, a higher torment. That would be really cool, because I can imagine if you are, you know, maxed out in mastery level, it's only going to get easier, right? I know you get your Spear of a Dune boosted up stupidly fast if you are at the max level, so you can just sort of expend from, uh you know, right at the very beginning and then boost out all your probes and then get an even bigger amount of cannons up even earlier on into the game because you don't really need to spend any early game resources to get the, you know, the rocks that your expansion killed. Um, all things considered, Karax definitely would recommend him. He's an awesome hero. I think he's a little too powerful, but hey, who am I to complain? I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video nonetheless. If you haven't already, hit that like button and if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!